Hi, I'm James and today's tutorial is to teach you how to make your own flying bases. It's not a complex process, but you can knock these up in just a few minutes. So, stage one. Basically, cut the rods to length and then attach them to the base. Now, I used some MDF bases, I had some large bases, and then used super glue to hold them in place. Now, when you're attaching them, what I found the best way to do it to get them to fit was to turn them on the side as you can see in the picture there and I used five bases laid flat so that the rods resting on those were nice and level and stuck nicely onto the base. Once we've done that the next simple stage is to attach the magnets to the top just make sure you put the magnets the same way round uh, it's a bit embarrassing if you realise that some of your helicopters will only fit on some of the bases. So keep one as a check piece for that. Once you've done that, third stage is to fit the covering onto the bases. I've used my standard basing material, which is to base coat it with a 50-50 mix of burnt umber paint and PVA glue and then sprinkle different types of flock on top to get different grass effects uh, leaving a little bit showing through do that with most of my infantry so these will then blend in with them and once you've done that the next step is to actually use them um, playing Rider the Valkyries is entirely optional at this point you can see the ones I've put there these are using the Revel Hind that I've done a video on how to build uh, I'll put a link in the description on that if anybody wants to see it. This was an earlier one where I used a spare games workshop base. Any base will do nicely uh, depending on what you have. Hopefully you found that useful. I'll put a link in the description below for all of the materials. If you are interested in making these, I um, hope you'd consider ordering them through the links I've put there because Amazon will then at no cost to you give me a little bit of money which I can use to buy further things to review. Hope you found that useful. 